Uh, hey everybody, it's Vlogging Day 508. Anybody know how to read a map? I mean, I was trained how to read a map, but I don't think I'm doing it right. Morning. It is Wednesday? <laughs> this morning I have a potentially unpleasant meeting that I've got to go take care of. Uh, and once that's done, more pleasant things on the docket like coffee with my sister and a date with my mom. If you're not taking your mom on dates, you're not doing the mom thing properly. So we're going to do that today. I also have been meaning to pull out that art that we kept talking about from Into the Nance. And I think I have a piece in here. These are the really big ones. So we've got some big ones like that. Ooh, I forgot about this one. So these are pretty cool, and they already have some mounting strips on them, like the Velcro, so I don't know if that's annoying or not, but you can just pull these off just like that. So we need to look at that at some point, just so that we have an idea of what is actually here. But in the meantime, I need to roll. Also, it's really frosty out there. I think we should go check out some of this frost. <laughs> I'm here at what's formerly Core, and we are in for a special treat today. I didn't recognize you in the sun flare at first. I didn't recognize you, man. Jonna! The beard is back. How are you, man? Crazy. Good to see you. The beard is back. <laughs> Where's all his hair? Wait, this is a different animal altogether. I stumbled into a meeting with the laundry room there. The Jana, my buddy, runs a clothing company called The Laundry Room. They make like upscale women's t-shirts, basically. It's really fun. And he's just amazing and I miss him. And so hopefully one of these days I'll get to sit down and hang out with him again. But uh, Karin has to go do a bunch of work. I'm gonna try and buy Pizza Pipeline uh, before I go pick up my mom so we can go on a little date. And then I think I'm gonna go for a run with my dad this afternoon. And that's basically the extent of the plan. Now you are up to date. cars i also was supposed to bring her back a slice of pizza i paid for the slice of pizza just forgot to actually get it mm -hmm. i well, can make excuses so for her but it's cool. okay she's hungry anyways on the i also have no driving footage when mom's in the car correct your pizza my lady and they even gave us an extra slice for our trouble see pizza pipeline good people good pizza even better people that will never be their tagline, but it could be. So we're gonna go, to, my mom likes to walk indoors, so we're gonna go to North Town Mall and walk in. I was gonna try to blag our way into a new knife since her knife like broke in half the other day. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's not. Is that new? What? Yeah. I don't have a tattoo on my neck. Oh, it's really new. Dude, I really hope I don't have a tattoo on my neck. That'd be a surprise. Not a good surprise either. So between going for a run with my dad or going for a walk with my mom, I'll get exercise one way or the other. She's a walker for her exercise though. Easily distracted in her exercise by sweets. It's one way to get exercise. So we're just kind of doing laps, wandering around the mall. I was just saying to my mom, it's, it's amazing to me that malls are still open. Like with online shopping and just, I don't know. I mean, I know that they're struggling. I know a lot of them are going bankrupt. I know this one's struggling, but at the same time, it's amazing that they're still open at all to me, at least to some degree. All right, the walk is over. Now it's time to do business, sort of. We're gonna, we, she broke this knife 
or my dad broke the knife. Somebody broke this knife while cutting something frozen, and uh, I that's what he said. And so we're gonna go see if they'll replace it. I mean, it broke right at the hilt, right in the handle, so we I can show up. Anyways, we'll see if we can't get a new one. We'll just probably end up buying a new knife here. Karen and I are gonna go to Pullman tomorrow, which is the town we grew up in. Uh, just give you guys a flavor for where we grew up, tell some stories, just poke around, get a burger at Cougar Country, that kind of thing. But the thing is, it's really funny to walk around here because this was like the fancy place to go when we were growing up. Spokane was the big city. It was 70 miles north of where we grew up. We didn't come up here very often, but what we did come up is usually to go shopping or do something special, you know? And I just remember this mall, North Town Mall, being like the place to go. It was that thing where it's like, you're gonna go shopping, you're gonna go do the cool thing. And it was, I don't know, it's funny how malls used to be the cool thing. And uh, I just don't buy into the consumerist mindset that much anymore. I don't buy a lot of stuff. And this is like the epitome of the efficient shopping center, right? Like made so that you can buy as much stuff as humanly possible in the shortest amount of time possible with food breaks in between and uh, go home loaded with just loaded down with stuff it doesn't really appeal to me that much but it's just kind of funny to think about that like i just remember coming in here and, and this place felt so much bigger and so much crazier and food we didn't have at home like they had brands we didn't have at home because our town is only like 20 some thousand people when we were growing up like maybe 24,000, including the university and uh and so it's just like going to the big city and it's funny that in my mind going to a big city has nothing to do with malls as an adult but growing up the mall was like a central piece to the city experience. Interesting. Anyways, uh, failure on the knife, like I said, but we're gonna go home. My mom and I are gonna dig up that art that I showed you at the beginning. I'm gonna dig up whatever I have lying around. My buddy Nolan was asking because he wanted to buy a piece and I haven't inventoried it to see what we have at all yet. So that's what's on the docket next. You ready to go? You ready? Okay, okay here we go. making a side stop to Target. Are you getting a knife here? What's the... No, I'm returning something, but we could look at knives. Okay. Target. And then back, and then we'll, then maybe we'll pull out some art. Can't pull it out. They don't let you pull the knives out. Oh, that's probably good. No stealing knives. Well, Unless you're King stealing. Arthur. If you're King Arthur, you can pull these out. Bye. That's a very similar one to what you had, but it's definitely smaller. What about the like that size? Oh, there's some under there. Oh, I forgot about these giant pieces. Wait, we're on the hunt. Oh yeah. Okay, so these are huge. Oh, oh. So these are a four-piece canvas that uh, that hang right next to it looks really good when they hang right next to each other uh, with a little bit of a gap between them put up a picture of what they looked like in core the coffee shop that used to be where cedar is now that's huge this is the other one i was talking about the dark horse cover oh, in the frame oh, this one's awesome oh, yeah. ah. and this really big black frame it's a real wood frame So those are the really big pieces that we have just sitting around. Then we have some pseudo big pieces. We got some sizes down. So for those of you who are asking, I talked about the fact that I have art from Into the Nanton still just kind of sitting around here. I, I figured we could hawk some of this to help pay for gas on the road trip. And I just don't want it sitting around my parents' house anymore. And my parents don't want it sitting around their house anymore. So I showed you some of these this morning. These are all pieces. This is from season one of Into the Nanton. I think these really big ones are all, except for one of them, are season one. They already have some mounting strips on them, which you can take off really easily and not damage the prints. But this one's corner, I think this one got dropped in the coffee shop. And so its corner is a little bit bent up. Not bad. Mostly just in the back. This guy right here. Oh yeah, this one's a three-parter. So this is actually a panorama. You could buy, if you wanted to buy one piece, you could. But this is part one. This one's actually, this one is from season two. So we do have some artwork from season two. So that's a really good one from season two. This one is, oh, part two of the panorama. Part three of the panorama. Oh, wait. That was part three, this is part two, this is the middle one. And then this guy, for the audiobook, this was the cover image. For that as well, really nice stuff. These ones are obviously huge. These are the biggest ones I have. They'll definitely take up some nice space on a wall if you need a central gravitational piece. So there's that. And then in here, these ones are actually protected on the corners, which is nice, because they have also suffered just a little bit of abuse. But these are the size that you see in my room back in Paris. This is the exact same size. 
So this one's from season one. This one's from season one, our turtle, and also from season one. So these three are from season one. So these ones I actually have on hand. Definitely open to printing off and selling more art if you guys are actually interested in it. For those of you who aren't, sorry for the QVC moment, but that's what we got there. And then I have some smaller stuff. I'm gonna spread the smaller stuff on the bed and we'll just get one image of it and that can be it. Okay, so here's what we've got going on here. These are all Gicle prints, so they're really high quality prints, really nice. I have a certain rhythm and they all come individually wrapped in plastique, which is really handy, keeps them safe. These are actually on canvas, like they're kind of fun because you can crinkle them up and stuff, which is, they're just different. I had a bunch of these and they only have three left. The Deadwood, Bolton, and then Cantu. That's obviously that really big one we talked about earlier. These are just like prints of the posters. So this is like our movie poster of season two. Um, this is the cover art of Dark Horse without any text, which is rare. Those are the only ones I have. Uh, but then of course we've got the ones with the text as well, if you were into that. So there you go, there's that. And then season one's cover as well. That's the book cover from season one the poster. Just nice and kind of glossy. Well, that's pretty much it. Sure, we have a little bit more buried away, but we'll figure out how to actually make this work online if you guys are interested. If anybody wants to get some, I've had a handful of you reach out and ask what I actually had. So I'll take inventory of what we actually have here and then I'll have a solution very shortly, but that gives you an idea of what we've got. And then you can feel free to reach out if you really want to call dibs on anything in particular, especially the big stuff, because then we got to figure out how we're getting it to you. Uh, shipping's not hard. Uh, it's not terribly expensive either, but um, if you want to ship overseas, it does get a little bit pricier. I did ship all of those things in my room from here to Paris for my landlady, because my landlady is the one that purchased that and put it up. Again, I didn't do that. That'd be kind of weird. So anyways, I'm taking inventory of these things. We'll figure out how to ship it. And my sister has said she would help me as well. So uh, we're in no rush and that way we'll be able to ship it out of Spokane to you wherever you are in the near future. But either way, I just need to get this information out so you have it. So if you'd like to get some art, please, by all means, come snag some art.